can find it. No, off the mark. Tries to predict the movement, but he's whiffed it. And now I suppose has got to run. As they're chasing him down, the slow is there. Beatune trying to push them back. They'll use the supernova to stop Windstrike from diving in any further to keep Iceberg safe, and it worked for now. Now with the supernova ending, DK is ready to go straight back in. It's time the stun from Iceberg does connect. They're turning oh, damage. Man. He's in. He's able to get the black goal on the three of them with the Omni slash damage. Oh, it's beautiful. Yamich just slams him down, walks in and catches the three, ends up in the four of them dying. What a beautiful move from the Enigma. As it, I mean, plays like that. It, and, and it's not like Yatoro's farming off elsewhere. Yatoro's around. He will fight with the team. Aaron's going to try for the hook shot in. He's immediately given Glimpse down. They've got the Supernova down. They're trying to protect it. The Supernova, can they get it off in time? They can. It will manage to kill the egg, but double kill for Yatoro. They're just cleaning up here. Three dead on NIP. Supreme is surrounded. It, it just, they, they go all in on the egg. They, they kill it, but... I mean, they know. They know the Vikings trying to do this. Hold on to the jungle. Was the rupture? Sounds Toby. Toby is getting critted down low, but the Vortex yeah, he's got, got, the oh, he's got the four of them. Is there the four of them with the cross? Charlie, he just gets shredded. But the damage from this drow, Charlie is dead. That's another rapier hitting the deck. Who got it? Did anybody it's recover the rapier? It didn't. They didn't. It is gone. Charlie is dead for two minutes. They're trying to run, but Boom is chasing him down. Misha, the Ghost Scepter to, to protect him, but they've lost their two calls for two minutes. This, Yeah, this is it. Viking, they can clean this one up. About half HP. Found a strike and a jump onto Centaur. Mitchell's looking for a sneaky position there to make the initiation. Stomps up, but he's dead. Might have to buy back as Roshan drops low. The RP there is beautiful from Funic. HR is straight onto them and into the, the Wukong's command. It's a triple for Monkey. Hellraisers have done it. Three heroes dead. One has had to buy back in the Centaur, but he's got no one left to fight with because LeBron is gone. Xani was holding on for that buyback until they see them running. It gives all that vision too, that 1800 vision it provides. Oh, Barney is in. He's gonna start playing around with the two of them. Back Club right out as well. Iron Man's gonna go down. I mean, just the control, it's insane with his Vortex and the Hags, Baranita. He just sets up on all of them. It's another easy jump, and now Mind Control's out of the game for 90. No buyback on the Darkseer. Barney is still hanging around, still has that Aegis, of course. They'll even pass him over the cheese. Back up to full mana, full HP, and in again. Three man vortex. Yeah, the the vacuum onto four of them into the gust of the multi shot. Oh, it couldn't be any better here for, for Mud Golems. They are just playing with their food right now, as this game is going to be over any moment right now. What does it say? 12 percent. Seen... That's not correct. It says 29.6 for me. On void? Yeah. Hi, nice, bug. Oh, Chrono, Chrono, Chad, straight in onto Xani, but the RP! Oh, the jump from Kicks! He saved the Alchemist! Beautifully done, and in comes the Stolen oh, Chrono! Chrono. Lil. Lil says good night to you, Viking! Two easy picks there as a double kill for Nyx comes through, and Monkey King standing his ground inside the Wukong's command. Yules up onto Alk. Halbert is in stunned. He can pop the cheese, but decides not to. And they can reset and continue as they wish here at Streamer. The four of them pushing in. In fact, Mello comes in with a sw side, sweeps in, has the setup. Mello's in with a three man black hole to close it up in style. As Kuman will pop the BKB, but the bash is there. He cannot get a single hit off. GG is called. And this is us. This was definitely another rough one for Cyber Legacy. Nothing really falling into place. They were making their own play. Yeah, really? uh, I thought the Quake for maybe have been able to do more in this early portion of the game, but it just sort of have, hasn't happened. No, and now Tom. Nice one down. On top of Insania. Wife is going to try and jump in and burst Misery, but Misery will fall to the crit. Mickey, Mickey turns over towards Ace. Ace, he's out of mana, but he's got a full one. Pops it and still has the BKB and the ult to rely on. So they can try and chase, but Ace, he's happy to turn. There comes the BKB out. Commits with the battle charge. Turns more Tiger, but Tiger holds his position with the black hole. It comes down and it's a perfect Gets black hole. Wasting the entirety of the duration of both of their BKBs. Couldn't be any better there. As it locks down Jesse. Ace comes out of the ages. They're going to look for a second round on him, see if they can bring him down. Slowing him up. He's surrounded. They're trying to take him out with the Dark Rift, but he's not in range. Even Boxy pushing 
H that little further away from the rift. Try and steal it. Monkey King sees the void. Time dilation into the boundless strike. The roar is there. And on top of Shab, they go with the Abyssal Blades flowing through they the kill it. off the void. Streak gone by like immediately the RP catches one. Kick this on top of Celery now with a Wukong's command. It's a big golden circle with a lot of monkeys, but they don't get the stuns they need. Viking retreat. Now look to turn with Shad. Death and Glass there, stolen by Lil and turned onto the void. What's he stolen? He's got time dilation, but not for long. Aramis shuts it down with a Laguna Blade and the chase is on. Toby finding Nyx. Monkey King with no BKB holding Satanic for now. But Phronic doesn't have Raw. They don't have the backup they need to save the monkey. And Shaddy wants the Chrono. Chrono. On to Nyx with a Cataclysm coming. They kill off the Monkey King. Buyback available. There's and a good stop Chrono. Chrono from Lil. But do they have the they damage? Have no damage. Kasani. Alchemist can't fight into Chrono. They have four Kasani's heroes. trying. Deal damage inside of Chronos here, even if it's stolen. Now they need to rush back into the Roche pit and secure their ages for Faithless Void. He still has that Chronos. He used Refresher. There'll be another one. It's perfect as well. Shan BKBs to make this all work out for them. They kill off Nyx and Monkey die back. They'll come with the Magus again with a buyback for him as Alchemist trying to battle in with the four heroes of Vikings surrounding him, though. Kasani's got no option but to run and hide. Toby, Toby sprinting forward with Shad, the bashes are landing, the roar is defensive, holding the Bloodseeker back, but Aramis, the big zaps from these Laguna Blades, forcing the boy back from Alchemist and Viking, they are hunting into the base, rupture onto Funic, this could be it, game over it looks like, as Viking with five still standing, clear up yet another HR hero. No vision, he... Got in the vision a bit too late. One second scan is going to connect so they know where Extremum is at the moment. Oh, S4. No way. He's in there with a great bow strike and Lena completely caught out. She might be able to get her BKB off. She's still surviving. Yule's up into the air now as the back end of the fight. They chase on to Limp. And the CK is battling one versus three. Melodrill does die and buys back immediately. And in comes the RP from Malik. Catching out Elias with a stolen one. Hanscan, you bloody god. He's caught them all. The stolen RP is glorious. S4 does fall down to the south, but in comes Limp. He's got another slight chains ready. Just needs to close the gap onto G now. Might even find the little chains onto Lena there, but doesn't go for it. It'll be Hanskin instead. Claiming his birthright. Kill oh, after kill. And Lena, she bought back, but there's no team to save her. BKB and runs forward, but Hanskin. He's going to be able to oh, get hit by the Light Striker as he walks back into it. But FNG has the saves and the shields as Alliance towing the line with death there. Very low HP, these heroes, and Lena will keep. There we go. There's the first net. We are trying to control Mio, straining onto the Kunkka. The combo's coming down. They've got the Hoof Stomp and the Boat. Do they have the damage to kill this Meepo? So bad. Turns Light Strike onto the three of them. The Chrono's out. They're focusing the Meepo first, but he has got the Aegis. Buying some time with the Selfie Blade for the finally they kill him. That's the first time. Can they do it a second time? Used a lot of ults to do it. There's the AoE stun. Jump across from Miracle. He's trying to pull them in to save them, but the Laguna Blade and the Torrent will take down Weeha. They've killed off the Meepo. Now they're going to look to try for more. The X Mark locks down Miracle, drags him back into the bashes of Yatoro. Miracle will fall. Jump forward from Mio as he hits with the Tidebringer. They'll look to mind control. Is he out in time? He is at the bashes and coming in. He cannot TP away. Nigma get hard punished. Bonus fear though for 50 seconds. So it's going to be all about the arena. Weeha and GH doing their best to guard the area around the pit collapse. He's going to jump in. Cataclysm's out. They'll burst down the Mirana. There's the, the Echo. Echo. Straight away, Mind Control jumps in. He's found the three man. Is there the follow up? There's the Silence on to collapse. Hammer Posh get the back in the way. The Silence as well from his pulses, halting the Toro's movements. He's now going to turn towards Mind Control. In fact, the Deafening Blast, they're pushing Miracle back. They've killed off the Shaker. Can they kill off this PL? Miracle straight over towards Meposhka. Can he finish him? Another doppelganger jump forward. Will allow him to get the kill. Yatoro trying to scan his ground miracle. against Miracle, but there's too many illusions. Yatoro had to jump up over to the side. They can't clear these illusions out in time. The false promise is there from RMN, keeping Miracle more than safe as they take down Yatoro yet again. Over they go with the Yules into Remnant, onto Collapse. They're just waiting whilst Miracle gets some heals up from RMN. They're looking at charging in onto Collapse. He's underneath the tier twos, but Weehai is still ready to play in deep and aggressive as they kill off the Mars. Mio's hiding in the trees, but Weeha's found him, jumping over. It's a Team White Miracles get the triple kill. And at this stage, now 20 to 10, 6k lead. Only a week of playing together too, yeah, right? We, so that's exactly, yeah. If you, if you missed the interview earlier, that's what, what Maposhka said. He said they've only been playing together a week. He was asked about Ooh. sort of his teammates. He was like, I don't even know them. <laughs> they've, they've been playing together that short. Nick, they're trying to jump out. They're trying to burst his faces forward with the Echo combo. 
he's just not getting that low at all. Yator is able to get the BKB off turn. He's just Miracle. fighting. He's out of mana. He's fully committing the false promise. Will keep Miracle alive. But Yatoro, he's doing a lot of damage to us again. The arena, it catches the three. The Cataclysm goes crashing down. It's a dead mind control. It's going to be a dead Miracle too. Both calls out of the game. No buyback. They're chasing Nigma back towards the base as it's just down to the last three of them. You know, you, you got to be careful on this TB sing low HP. Oh, here we go. Magical is going to get shot in onto General. But it's General. General doesn't seem to care too much. The Supernova is going to come out. BKB committed as well as Kumat trying to finish off the egg. Can he do so? He can't hit he, it. He can't. He couldn't get the egg. He's going to get stunned by the Supernova. They've lost two. Kuman gets exploded by Beechin with the Mana Void. And it's another cleanup by Na'Vi. He just, they, they couldn't kill the egg. He popped the BKB, he tried to step out, and they're going to call it. They know this game's over. GG. 30 seconds to buy without Mitch. And Nigma know it. They're sticking around. The swap. The arrow again. The swap. The arrow. Have they gone off control? The magic missile as well. He's getting so the low. E miracle. He's able to lift. The e play keeping him alive. Chrono's out onto the three of them. He turns for DNZ. He's going to look towards Krylak. Krylak's backing off. They've got the Rex, though. they got what they Did came for. Did that split second E Blade save him? I think it, it did. Wait, for mind who, control, right? It definitely did. It, yeah, it was mind control. Yeah, it, it was an E Blade. It was absolutely that E Blade he saved just his Without it up. that E Blade, he was dead. He was a yeah. hundred percent dead. Mind control. Always going to be a fear for Extremum as Nefrit looking for Pylai die. Kunker not landing the torrent there, and Chessy with misery jumping straight onto Mellow Jewel. They maledict up the Kunker. He can't get away from this, can he? No, he can't. Chrono. Chrono onto three. Ace has found them all, and that's it. G's gone. Belio's done for. And five men actually move into the pit, thinking about when the oh. big man returns. It's pretty soon. Let's see what sort of set they can get. They've got that great ward down as well. Give them all the info. Allows them to line up the arrow. Arrow, no tell. tell. They're going to silence. Look to take him out. But Saxa buys time for him. Comes in with Snowball to get him out to the side. They've lost the Arc Warder now. Viking, they can push for more. A buyback from the bomb comes out. But Toby committing on to No Tail. No Tail getting low. Seth holding the high ground for now. Still has Blink and Black Hole ready to use if he finds an opportunity. But Shad, he's just straight in on them. Running down over the ward. Saxa. Saxa again with the defensive snowball will save himself. Toby buys back. Shad yeah, fully focusing down the spectre. Do they have the damage? Shad getting low. Malaf is stuck in the smoke screen. Shad will fall. Oh. Seth comes in on the side. He's got the Black Hole for two more. Catches Aramis. In fact, Toby ends up walking into it. He fought back for this. He's got to run. Topson's hot on the chase. The final prop for the Mjolnir kills him off as Mipon gets the triple. OG.